Ladies and gentlemen, your officials for tonight's contest, Jim Merritt, Ralph Woods. Rebounds again. He had eight and six, 8.6 .6 rebounds. One of his one. better games, quite frankly. And now for the Powell Panthers, 25-3. and three, Their guards, Alan Smith, a 5'10", senior, averaging 14 points. And Kevin Scruggs, a 5'11", senior, averaging seven. Well, Smith had nine, and Scruggs had four, and they had eight assists between them. Paul Howe in the middle, a 6'3", senior, 8.5 points a game. 7 points, 10 rebounds. Steve Curtis, a 6'4", senior on a wing, 15.5 a, a game and 7 rebounds. He's the big gun. He had 20 points and 5 rebounds. And then uh, Bill Crossland, a 6'2", senior, who'll play down low, averaging 12.5. And, and for the Hardaway, will jump center with Bill Crossland, and Crossland wins it. The uh, Eagles in white going left to right. But Powell got it first. They move to the right, and they lose the ball underneath. Crossland trying to get it underneath to Alan Smith. Knocked away and off Smith, out of bounds. Michael Pierce will bring it up. Garmer Curry's already yelling something to Hardaway. He's got the ball right wing, sends it to Marty White in the corner, back outside to Pierce, to Marty White in the corner. He drives baseline, kicks it back out to Pierce, forces inside looking for Devin Douglas, and over the back goes Douglas. The ball was stolen away by Bill Crossland. 1-2-2 two, two zone defense by Powell as they don't try to match up with Treadwell in a man-to-man. -man. Treadwell's going to counter right here with a full court press. 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Easily beaten as Steve Curtis brings it down the left side across the 10-second line into the corner. Puts it up top to Allen Smith. Smith says play number two. Dribbles to the right side. Pierce on him. In the corner to Curtis. Curtis. Wants to go to Crossland, nothing there. Back to Smith on top, drives into the paint, puts up a shot, blocked inside, but a whistle and a foul. And I think the foul will go against Tim Burrell. I believe so. Burrell had two blocks and Hardaway three in their first game against Smith County. That time Burrell got taken to the hole, taken to the basket on a good drive by Alan Smith of Powell. Smith will have two, averages 14 a game. 5-10, stocky kid, first one up and in. 2-1-0. Uh, Powell, 40 seconds going in the game. On the way with number two, or right through the netting. Two zip. Pierce brings the ball up in a hurry. Across the 10-second line it goes. Right wing white, back to Pierce on top. Left wing Hardaway, makes a move toward the baseline, holds up, holds the ball, puts it in the corner white, fakes the three-pointer. Low post Douglas, back to Hardaway, three on the way, left wing, got it. And for the Hardaway, gives a one-point lead to Treadwell, 3-2. Pressure full court on the right wing, and a steal by Hardaway. Hardaway down the left side, pops from 19. Front of the rim won't go, got his own rebound, puts it off the glass, up and in. Hardaway with five, and it's 5-3. Here's full court pressure. Smith beats it. Hardaway almost stole it again. Top of the key to Kevin Scruggs. Scruggs to Crossland, rather Paul Howe. Paul Howe puts it to Curtis over Hardaway. Jump shot won't go. Inside rebound by Powell and a over the back foul on Michael Pierce. Three team fouls on Treadwell right off the bat. And Hardaway's doubled up and that's not the, the move that he makes when he wants to catch his breath. I think it's the move he made because he got one in the ribs. <laughs> Scruggs on top, bounce pass, Crossland inside, puts up a shot, it's an air ball, and Devin Douglas goes high to get it. Pierce on the right wing, Hardaway fakes the three, tries to put it down low, it hit Crossland in the hip and bounced out of bounds. It'll belong to Marty White and Treadwell. Inbounds to Pierce. Walks it right wing, top of the key, Hardaway, back to Pierce in the corner, White, White brings it out to Pierce, top key. Pierce, bounce pass, Burrell right wing, back to Michael Pierce, spins into the lane, puts up a shot, it won't go, rebound, Michael Pierce loses it, had it for a second, and Curtis brings it down the left side. Their tallest player acting like a guard, Scruggs on top, Curtis makes a baseline move, puts up a shot over Hardaway, and it went. Curtis's first two, and it's five to four. Hardaway, top of the key. Tries to go right wing, and it's stolen away. It was Curtis who stole it. Scruggs will bring it up to the top of the key. Fires underneath for Crossland, and he missed the layup. He and White battle for the ball. Curtis got it, sends it back. Scruggs, top of the key. 
On the, the right side, high post to Paul Howe. Left side, Crossland. Curtis way out. He'll take a three. He got it. The average is 15 and a half. He's got five, and it's 7-5 Powell. Pierce, bounce pass right side, quarter court white in the corner, Burrell underneath, all alone Douglas, and he went to take up a shot, and he lost control of the ball. He's complaining he was fouled by Steve Curtis. Treadwell playing a man-to-man -man when they back up, and Powell spreads it out and runs a wide flex defense with a lot of screens, and has given Treadwell trouble. Zone trap easily beaten. Scruggs into the lane, fires on the right wing. It was meant for Howe, and the guard, Alan Smith, got in the way and knocked it off of Howe out of bounds. Treadwell's ball down two. Pierce will bring it up. Hardaway sort of lethargic. In the corner right side, Marty White kicks it out to Pierce, top of the key. Fires underneath Burrell, baseline jumper from the left of the lane, won't go. He missed a seven-footer, and the rebound to Curtis. Scruggs will walk it up on Michael Pierce. They want to keep the pace slow. Right wing, Steve Curtis on Hardaway. Moves it to the right of the circle now. Leaves it there for Howe. He puts up a shot. Burrell blocked it, but Howe got it back. Underneath for Crossland. He's been camping in the lane. Puts it up and in. Crossland's first two. Nine to five. In favor of Powell. Michael Pierce in the corner to Burrell. On top to Pierce. Back inside. Low post. The spin move in the paint by Devin Douglas, and he puts it up and in. So Douglas gets his first two, and it's nine to seven. Powell with a basketball in the lead. Curtis down the left side. Holds up short of the paint. Puts up a shot. Misses from eight. Hardaway gets the rebound. Sends it left wing. Pierce dribbles to the middle. Top of the key in the paint. Puts it underneath for Devin Douglas. And he lays it up and in. Great feed from Michael Pierce. Douglas now with four. We're tied at nine. And Hardaway triggered it with an excellent outlet pass after he got the defensive rebound. Crossland makes a move. Almost has it stolen away. Dribbles into the paint. Puts it up and in. Bill you know, Crossland's got four, it's 11-9. We got a whistle, and the referees want to talk to somebody. I believe one of the players, Paul Howe, hit the ball after it went through, and they're warning him. Actually, it was Scruggs who knocked the ball away. So far, Treadwell's only had one turnover. That came early when Hardaway stole the basketball. Their traps are there, but Powell's uh, escaping them with good passing, and that's been one of the strengths of this Powell ball club. They're an excellent passing team. Michael Pierce leads it right wing, Marty White, three-pointer on the way, an air ball, but the rebound inside, Devin Douglas puts it up and in. Douglas now is six, and it's 11 to 11. Pressure, Scruggs nearly loses it. Crossland picked it up near the 10-second line. Right wing Smith back to Scruggs in the middle. Hardaway on him. Brings it to the top of the key, holds up. Bounce pass right side to Howe. Paul Howe sends it in the corner. Smith, Smith dribbles by the lane, puts it underneath Curtis. Curtis with a little hook shot from the right side, seven feet away, and he got it. He's got seven, and it's 13-11, Paul. Pierce to Hardaway, top of the key, back to Pierce. Right wing, Marty White puts it down low, Devin Douglas misses an easy one. Rebound to Crossland. Crossland hands it to Scruggs. And Powell can take a four-point lead. 2.18 to go, first quarter. Scruggs slips and falls. Stolen Michael Pierce. Knocks it out of bounds off of... Oh, bad call. Bill Merritt missed it. He was out of position. He made a bad call. It was right in front of us. It went off of Kevin Scruggs. They say it was last touched by Michael Pierce. He missed the call, but he was out of position. It was a tough call to make. In the corner, they worked the ball. How fires underneath the Crossland and Crossland... With six, makes it 15 to 11, Powell. Michael Pierce sends it right wing, Marty White. Back to Pierce. They got to get Hardaway in this game. Burrell on the right wing, dribbles near the paint, sends it back to Pierce. Left wing to White, to Hardaway in the corner. Baseline move, puts up a shot, hit the side of the backboard, and comes down to Crossland. Up ahead to Curtis, across the 10-second line, down the left side. Howe on the right wing, fakes the shot, gets it down low, Alan Smith. He puts it up, he puts it in, and a foul is called. It'll be on Hardaway. Something you don't see Anthony do very often, but he's going to be guilty that time of fouling and uh, providing Powell an opportunity for a three-point play. Anthony Hardaway, and the Eagles will take a timeout. 17-11. 
Oh, Powell is fired up. They've got a six-point lead with a minute and a half to go in the quarter, and we'll be back in 60. Okay. So I announce Got to do it now, Bob. I'll let that man finish a minute. Is it his? What foul is that? Second team sport. Ladies and gentlemen, the last foul was on number 10, Michael Pierce, his second, team's fourth. Timeout, Treadwell. Test, test. Hi, everybody. Okay. Bucket was good. Bucket we was good. You back to the Murphy oh. Center. Dave Willotion and Jeff Simon. Semi-final double-A game. And at the line, Alan Smith. He's got four. And now he's got five. He's three for three from the line. And it's 18 to 11. Powell on top, 127 to go, and Michael Pierce, top of the key. Right wing to Burrell, in the corner right side, Hardaway. Puts it back to Burrell. Treadwell very lethargic. In the corner to Hardaway, three on the way, in front of the rim won't go, the rebound inside by Allen Smith. Leaves it there for Scruggs. Scruggs battles pressure. Gets it across the 10 second line on the pass to Curtis. Drives the left side. Puts it down low for Crossland. Blocked by Pierce. Loose ball on the floor. Saved by Douglas. In the middle to Burrell. Three on two fast break. Burrell sends it left wing Marty White. He puts the layup up and in. His first two. And it's 18-13. Pressure again. Beaten. Crossland into the lane. Puts up a jump shot over Douglas. Got it. Bill Crossland's got eight in the quarter. 20-13. 38 seconds to go. Treadwell's going to find out that they can't continue to spot these teams' points by playing less than their full effort and expect to win all the time. Curtis just took a swipe at Anthony Hardaway. He's trying to draw him and getting angry. Right wing Burrell. Back on top, Pierce. Left wing, Marty White. Pierce, top of the key. Dribbles into the paint. Puts up a jump shot. Won't go. Whistle foul underneath. Crossland elbowing Anthony Hardaway. They're trying to intimidate our Hardaway and get him angry. He's laughing about it. Now they ought to tell the referees. Curtis is complaining about pushing, but that's what he's been doing. A lot of talking going on out there between both teams. They need to stop talking and play basketball. Inbounds stolen away from Douglas. Up ahead, here comes Smith. Burrell tries to block it and a follow, and I don't think it's going to count. And we got a whistle and a foul. Let's see what happens. A slam on the other side by Curtis. I think Curtis followed it while it was in the cylinder. It should have been actually offensive it, goaltending. It'll need, be no bucket. It'll be a foul on Burrell, his second. Powell obviously very emotional about this game and playing actually above their head. They're playing at a faster tempo than they want to, but they're playing very well. 20 to 13, and Smith will go to the line. And what has he got? He's three. He's one. He's got two. Two shots. Okay. He's three for three. First one on the way. Yeah. So in this game, two, four, six uh, points already. 21-13. One more for the senior. It's on the way. Got it. 22-13, nine-point lead for Powell. In a surprise here at the Murphy Center in Murfreesboro. Right wing Burrell in the corner, into the ball game, Crutcher. Back to Pierce, to Hardaway, three-pointer, top of the key, won't go, rebound inside. Bevin Douglas puts it up at the buzzer, missed it, no foul called, he was creamed. We'll take a break, and we'll come back for the second quarter, a surprise. Powell beating Treadwell, 22-13. These are the semifinals on REC.
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. A set of car keys belonging to license plate number TNJ113, Tennessee Judiciary. Please come to the scores table. Again, a set of car keys from Tennessee Judiciary, license plate Tennessee J113, report to the scores table. Treadwell gets the ball to start the second quarter, and they try to go down low, and the ball is knocked away out of bounds off of the Eagles. Hey, Jeff, they just look lethargic, like they don't care. Yeah, I've seen them do it a couple times in tournaments, but it's, uh, this is the wrong time to have it happen. I've never seen Anthony play this uh, poorly. He's just not into his game. He had only eight points in the first half. I take that back. Can't be eight. Must be five. In the corner, Curtis. Down low looking for Douglas, uh, Howe, and it was knocked away by Devin Douglas out of bounds. It'll belong to the Powell Panthers. 22-13. An upset in the making here. Howe in the corner sends it out to Scruggs. Scruggs backs it out. Looks right wing, holds up, puts it in the corner to Smith. Smith nearly loses the ball in a double team with Hardaway. Sends it on the left wing, Curtis. He drives baseline, puts it up and missed it, and Burrell got the rebound. Kicks it off to Crutcher. Up ahead for Hardaway. Hardaway sends it underneath Devin Douglas, and he flies in the air and put it up and in. What athletic ability there. He now has eight, and it's 22-15. The lead is cut to seven. The other way, a whistle, a foul. Curtis went down into Douglas, and that will be on Devin Douglas. It'll be his second. That's the 15 foul, 16 foul in this half. Think about playing the way Treadwell has uh, by, by being lackadaisical the first quarter. It makes them have to work so hard to catch back up. And they're playing tremendously hard now, but they're expending a lot of energy because Powell's taking it easy. They're playing tempo. They're moving the ball. They're making Treadwell do all the work. Curtis will go to the line. He had seven in the first half, misses the free throw. And the rebound came down to Smith. He put up a shot, partially blocked. Loose ball to Crutcher. Crutcher to Hardaway. Hardaway behind the back pass for Crutcher, who couldn't see it coming. Hardaway got a little too fancy for his own good. Inbounds to Scruggins, and he'll bring it up on Hardaway. On the right side, Smith. Back in the middle to Scruggs. It's a 1-2-2 zone, it looks like. From the corner, three-pointer on the way. Curtis, he's got 10. And it's 25-15, biggest lead of the night for Powell. Pierce, Hardaway, left wing, goes baseline, in traffic, has to hold up. Sends it back to Pierce. Pierce fakes the right side, brings the top of the key to Burrell. Right wing, Crutcher. Back to Pierce, in the middle. Makes a move, left of the circle, sends it down low, Hardaway, spinning shot misses. Follow won't go by Burkett in the game, and Curtis got the rebound. Curtis sends it to Crutcher, knocked away beautifully. Hardaway gets the loose ball in the paint, goes up, draws the foul. Another thing I've, I've observed is Hardaway's not gone inside at all. He's, he's playing everything on the perimeter. That's okay when you're ahead. That's, that's okay when you're in a good groove. Right now... Treadwell needs points. They need him to, to post up a little bit, take some inside for him. That foul was on Curtis. That's the only the second team foul. I missed the first one. 5.47 to go, first half. Powell upsetting Treadwell by 10, 25-15. Hardaway's first free throws of the night. He's got five so far in the game. On the way, no. He'll get one more. He's facing that Treadwell of the uh, Powell crowd at the moment. Hardaway second on the way, got it. He's got a good free throw shooting form. Down by nine. One man pressure, it's Hardaway. Now they'll pick it up in his own trap, three quarter court, it's beaten. Howe brings it down the right lane and stops. To Smith back out, Scruggs top of the key. Dribbles to the top. On the right side, to Smith, left side, Curtis, travel. Tried to make a move on Burrell and travel. Crossland comes into the game. Another thing, Treadwell played Smith County. Smith County did a lot of dribbling against their traps, 
and the traps were successful by Treadwell. Powell passes the ball so well, there just hasn't been any traps available. Five and a half to go, first half. Marty White on the right wing to Pierce in the middle. Left side, Hardaway. Three-point range, made a great move, put it up and in. He's going to put on a show now. Four in the quarter, nine in the game. 25-19, lead of 10, cut to six. In the corner, how? Sends it down low, Little John. Over Hardaway, got it. Hardaway didn't play any defense at all on that one. Crossland, who had eight in the first quarter, now has 10. 27-19. Right wing, Marty White. In the corner to Burrell, back on top to Pierce. Dribbles into the paint, loses the ball. Scruggs stole it away from him. The loose sphere came into the paint, right in the hands of Howe. Left wing, Curtis. Puts it high post. Crossland puts up a bad shot, and Marty White got the rebound. Up ahead to Pierce. Pierce dribbles for White, stolen away. Curtis regained by Pierce in the paint, missed it. Rebound Marty White, stolen away from him by Scruggs, who got away with a foul. Down the right wing to Smith. Smith holds up. Burrell steals the ball from him. Pierce picks it up. We got a whistle and a foul called on Smith. Just the team's third. 4.22 to go in the first half. Treadwell down by 8, 27-19. They'll get the basketball. Devin Douglas back into the game. Burkett, the freshman, is going to take a seat beside Garner Curry, and Treadwell's got the ball, a chance to cut the lead. Left wing, Hardaway makes a move, baseline, has to hold up, kicks it out to Pierce at the key. Right wing, Marty White down below to Burrell. Loose ball kicked away, but Hardaway gets it top of the key. Makes a move, left wing, puts up a three. Yes! Okay, he's got 12 now, and it's 27-22. 3.56 to go in the first half. 1-2-2 two, two zone by Treadwell at, at the half-court line. In the corner, Howe, around the perimeter to the top of the key, and Scruggs. He'll back it out. He's got Curtis to his left. Just dribbles the basketball to Smith, back to Scruggs, high post Crossland, back to Smith, drives baseline, puts it back to Crossland in the paint, nearly loses it, sends it right wing Smith, 15-footer on the way, won't go, Burrell got the rebound. Kicks it off to Hardaway, Hardaway brings it down the right side, goes to work on Curtis, shakes and bakes to the top of the key, sends it to Marty right there, back to Hardaway, three, top of the key, got fouled and got it! Hardaway warming up that time as he went off the screen, and really went up high and shot the ball down and got fouled. Very felt, very seldom you see a chance for a four-point play. It was on Allen Smith, his second, team's fourth. And Preston Littlejohn will come into the game. Smith will take a seat. Hardaway will go to the line to close the gap to within the one. And we're down with 6.20 to go in this half by 10, 25-15. Now it's 27-25, Hardaway shot, nothing but net. Two out of three from the line. He had five in the first quarter. He's got 11 in this quarter. Pressure full court, 27-26, Powell with a one-point lead in the ball. Half court, Burrell stole the ball, Curtis regained it, sends it down to Scruggs in the corner. He's triple team. Can't seem to get the ball out, dribbles it out of bounds. Treadwell's traps starting to create some turnovers. Hardaway's getting hot, still on the perimeter, but Treadwell's making a run. Three minutes to go in the half. Treadwell down by 10 at one time, down by one now. Hardaway in the corner, back on top to Pierce. Right wing, Hardaway makes a baseline move, drives, puts it underneath to nobody. Burrell was there, and Anthony just caught everybody looking at his magic. Yeah, the pass was actually a good one. Burrell just... Didn't, didn't look for the ball. He had a layup had he caught it. Scruggs will walk it up. And the Powell Panthers up by one. Left wing Curtis. High post Crossland. Back top to Scruggs. Right wing Howe in the corner. Little John up on top to Scruggs who gets Burrell in the air and then puts up a bad three-point attempt. Marty White got the rebound. Sends it to Hardaway on the right wing across the 10-second line. Hardaway top of the key. Sends it to... Marty White, left wing Pierce, three-pointer on the way, front of the rim won't go, rebound inside Burrell, misses an easy one, loose ball underneath, out of bounds, who touched it last? Powell. It'll go oh, to Powell. I'm sorry. It'll go to Powell, last touched by Treadwell. 
Devin Douglas made a crack at it, but knocked the ball out of bounds on his tip attempt. Scruggs will walk it up top of the key. Looks at a 2-3 zone. Right wing Howe. High post. Crossland loses the ball to Devin Douglas underneath. And they say Devin Douglas double dribbled. Crossland beat him up inside. Crossland can do it. He's a, he's a big he guy. He's a double races knee pad. on both knees. He's a strong kid. He's really fiery. Curtis from the corner. Three-pointer on the way and airborne. Hardaway got the rebound. It's a three-on-two fast break. Hardaway. He's going to take it himself. Finger roll won't go. And Howe got the rebound. And they reach in to try to take it from Howe. He's double teamed. Gets it across and nearly throws it away. Saved by Curtis. Quarter court left side. Leaves it in the middle for Scruggs. Still 27-26. Treadwell's gotten very sloppy. Little John baseline move. Gets Hardaway in the air. Bangs it home. Made a great baseline move. His name is Preston Littlejohn. He's just a sophomore. 6-3. Made a great move there. And it's 29-26. Powell, right wing Burrell, Pierce on top, sends it back to Burrell, now to Hardaway, top of the key, bounce pass to White, left side quarter court, back to Hardaway, fakes the three-pointer, moves to the 17-foot range on the wing, misses a shot, Douglas gets the rebound, puts it to Hardaway, cutting under, and Hardaway makes the bucket. Down the left baseline, and a good feed from Douglas to Hardaway, he kissed it off the glass for two. He's got 18-13 in the quarter, 29-28 Powell. Scruggs with a basketball, and they're going to play for the last shot. 50 seconds to go in the half. Howe nearly loses it. Curtis got it top of the key, starts to dribble. Pierce all over him in a double team. They get it to Scruggs at the 10-second line in the middle. 38 seconds to go in the half. Right wing bounce pass. Howe holds it above his head. Nearly a five-second call. Brings it to the top of the key, sends it left wing Curtis. Curtis to Howe on the left wing. Back at the 10-second line to Curtis. Treadwell will not double-team. 20 seconds to go. They wait. Curtis to Scruggs in the middle. Scruggs, top of the key, holds up there with 13 seconds. Curtis on the right wing now. Back to Scruggs, top of the key, drives, puts it up. It's knocked away in the corner, saved by Marty White. The Hardaway at the midcourt line. Hardaway for three, gets fouled at the buzzer, and he'll shoot two. He was fouled at three-point range. On the right wing, just right of the paint, actually, but by the arc. Steve Curtis got him. He created, he, he's the one that uh, did the foul. And that wasn't a very good foul, but of nope. course, you and I have seen Hardaway crank him in from about 35 feet, too. It was Steve Curtis's second foul. And so Hardaway faces the Powell crowd, a chance to tie and put his team ahead. He ties it with that one. He is one, two, three out of four from the line. It's tied at 29. Second one on the way, and in the face of the Powell fans, he hits them both. He's got 20 points, 15 in the second quarter, and it's 30 29. Tomorrow. Treadwell down but 10 at one point in the second quarter. Rallied to take that one point halftime advantage. Jeff Simons. Powell shooting 47% from the field. Treadwell 41. Treadwell leads the rebounding by 16 to 10. And Treadwell's turned it over seven times to Powell's five. And Powell starts things off in this, the third quarter. They go left to right. And Scruggs has the ball top of the key. Backs off toward the 10-second line on the left wing. Dribbles to the middle. Pierce goes all over him. They send it Curtis right lane. Curtis back to Scruggs on top. Scruggs in the paint to Crossland. Kicks it off left wing Smith. Back to Crossland. Puts it up. Uh-uh. Rebound in the paint. Picked up by Anthony Hardaway. Got an Hardaway injury. brings it down, and we've got an injury on somebody, huh? Steve Curtis really got something inside of his head. I think he got an elbow as that ball was up on the glass, and several people were going toward the board. I think he's got some blood, too. I think he does, too. They're going to come over and wipe it off. Well, that would be a tremendous loss for him. Steve's yeah. been their leading scorer all year and uh, has uh, 10 points at the at the uh, halftime. I don't think there's any way you'll keep this kid out. He is gutty. He, he's been the one pushing and jawing with all the players. And 
trying to fire up his team. You get the, the sense that he's the emotional leader for Powell. They wear black uniforms, by the way, with red lettering. And you know, they come out mean and physical, don't they? They sure do. And uh, he had a dunk in the, in the first game and uh, had a dunk today, but it was uh, not allowed because uh, there was a foul before that. And uh, whenever he dunks, they really get into it. The crowd, the players, and they can't afford to play without him. A decent contingent from Powell. Not many people from Memphis. There has not been a crowd really from Memphis for this whole tournament, which is disappointing. I would say so. It's, uh, it's a pretty good drive from Knoxville and some of the other places throughout Tennessee, just as it is from Memphis. But it seems like most of those teams have, have brought great crowds. You and I know, as do most of the people listening to us right now, that Memphis plays basketball that's the top in the state. And I'd like to see, and I'm sure the players would like to see more people from Memphis come out and support them. They ought to be shifting this thing around. One, one year in East Tennessee, one year here in Middle Tennessee, and the other in West Tennessee and Memphis. It belongs throughout the state. They used to do it that way. They don't now. Inbounds to Pierce, dribbles into the lane, kicks it on the right wing to Marty White. Back on top, Burrell, the Anthony Hardaway right wing, gets one player in the air, puts up a shot, won't go, and Curtis got the rebound. Kicks it off left wing to Scruggs, 7.06 to go. Scruggs across the timeline, puts it left wing, Crossland. Into the lane he goes, puts it up, no go. Before the shot, a foul. It's on Michael Pierce. He thought they were going to call a travel call. It didn't work out that way. Crossland took that into the lane and uh, almost got away with a a three-point opportunity with it because he hit the bucket. Second foul on Pierce in this game. Scruggs, top of the key. High post Crossland. He'll take the shot. Won't go. Curtis with a tip from about three feet away and got it to go. Curtis with 12 now. And it's 31-30 Powell. Inside, Devin Douglas. They work it low post to him. Turnaround jumper won't go. Curtis gets the rebound ahead to Scruggs. Top of the key. Right wing Curtis travels. No call. Puts up a shot. Won't go. Burrell got it. Off on the left wing Douglas. Down to Hardaway left wing. Fakes the three-pointer. Puts it down low Douglas. Devin Douglas missed an easy one. Loose ball comes off of Howe's hands out of bounds. It'll belong to Treadwell. And Dave, why do I think this is similar to that first quarter? Treadwell's not scored yet. We've almost gone through two minutes, and they're not quite as lethargic. But they're not playing like they did in the second quarter. Marty White, top of the key. Pierce on the right side. Out of Burrell to Pierce. Pierce, ball over his head. To Burrell in the middle. Low post down low. Hardaway, great rocket pass to Michael Pierce. They kick it back in the corner. Hardaway, and he takes a two right on the 19-foot line and makes it. 22 for him, and it's 32-31 Treadwell. one 2, two zone by... Treadwell in the corner. Howe puts up a three, and Howe makes it. Paul Howe, his first bucket of the night, and it's a three. 34-32. Michael Pierce tries to make a move in the lane. Ball stripped away from him, picked up by Howe. Powell brings it down, up by two. Scruggs, top of the key, sends it left wing, stolen by Burrell. Has Hardaway streaking down. Right wing pass Pierce. He'll drive. Ball stripped away from him, out of bounds. Scruggs took the ball away clean. Pierce looks and says, what do you mean he didn't get me? Good call by the ref. And Hardaway was trailing, wanting that ball back. He would have slammed one if he got it back. Marty White, top of the key. One dribble, now has to look for help. Burrell left wing in the corner left side. Pierce fakes the shot, puts it up to Hardaway, stolen away by Smith. Smith looks to see where Hardaway is. He drives, puts it up and in. Alan Smith has nine. He had seven in the first quarter, and now a deuce in the third. And it's 30 6.32, Powell, 4.55 to go in the third quarter. Hardaway with a careless bounce pass, left wing steal by Smith, and the ball is knocked away from him by Marty White before he could shoot. Two lazy passes by Treadwell. The first one from Hardaway, and uh, Mandy White just lost the ball, came in and fouled on, on the drive, but Treadwell falling in that same Egg. sluggish way of playing. They're going to call him in the act of shooting. So, Smith will go to the line to shoot a pair. He's five for five from the free throw line tonight. An excellent free throw shooter, obviously. He'll get a deuce here. That was, as we said, the first on the senior, Marty White. Four-point lead for Powell, now five. As well, Alan Smith with ten points. 
Averages 14. One more. Slender 5'10 senior. It won't go. Rebound. One more shot. Goes a violation Pierce. against Treadwell. They yeah. stepped in the lane too quick. They said Marty White. Garner Curry over there shaking his head saying, what else could go wrong with my ball club? Smith shot short again. Rebound was in the possession of Pierce. Knocked away, but regained by Treadwell. Hardaway brings it down. Right wing missed it. Marty White got it. Went to take a shot, slapped away from him, picked up by Howe in the lane. And here comes Scruggs, the other way for Treadwell. Near steal by Marty White. Scruggs left of the lane, puts up a shot, won't go. Rebound by Burrell. Off to Hardaway, two on one fast break. Douglas back to Hardaway, puts it up. No, he missed the lamp. He was pushed from behind, and they didn't call it. And Scruggs gets the loose ball up. Right wing. Smith into the paint, looks back how. How fakes a three, takes a 17 footer on the right wing, missed it, rebound tipping by Alan Smith. Smith now with 12, and it's 39 32 Powell. 3 2 zone by Powell as they continue to stay in that zone defense, which has given Treadwell trouble. Hardaway way out, right wing, Pierce, whistle. Foul, Crossland, his second. It'll be the team's first in the half. Crossland tries to rough you up a little bit. That's the second time he's been called for a foul. Talking to one of the referees saying, what did I do? He just came up and uh, bushwhacked somebody. Garmer Curry wants to call timeout. 3.44 to go, third quarter. Treadwell down by seven, 39-32, back in 60 on REC. Treadwell will inbound the ball underneath their own bucket. 3.44 to go, third quarter. Right wing pass, Devin Douglas. Out by the three-point line. The white, top of the key to Hardaway. Still looking at the zone. Bounce pass left wing to Pierce. Back to Hardaway in the post. Devin Douglas on the high side. Gets it knocked away. Curtis got the loose ball. Terrible pass. Treadwell. And Howe pushes Anthony Hardaway as they go through. Now in the corner, Howe underneath Crossland. He missed the layup. Hardaway got the rebound, stripped away from him, regained by Marty White. Pierce brings it up, has Hardaway on his right side, drives through everybody, puts it up, and Pierce got it. And they need to get something from Pierce. His first bucket, 39-34. 3 9 to go third quarter. Scruggs brings the ball down, half court. Hardaway all over him. Now he drops back. He's got Curtis in a man-to-man, -man, I guess. This is maybe a 1-2-2 two, two floating zone. Steal by Pierce. Two-on-one fast break. Marty White down the left side. Back to Pierce. Drives the right side. Puts it up and in. Pierce with a couple of deuces in a hurry. 39-36. Cuts that seven-point lead to three. 2.43 to go in the first third quarter. It's a 1-2-2 two, two zone that they're playing, and they're playing those uh, wing passes, and Pierce picked one up as they tried to go guard to forward toward the wing. Scruggs right side. Sends it in the corner. Nobody there. He was looking for Curtis. And that gets Jeff Hunter, the Powell coach, off the bench. He'll call a timeout. We'll take a break. 2.32 to go, third quarter. Treadwell down by three, 39-36. But momentum has swung. Back in 60 on REC.
Welcome back to the Murphy Center in Murfreesboro. Dave Will Ocean and Jeff Simons. Treadwell with a basketball down three. Right wing, Marty White. Top of the key, Michael Pierce. Burrell up high, back to Pierce. Right wing, Marty White, out by the three-point arc. To Pierce on top, to Burrell, left wing. Back to Pierce, to Burrell. Into the paint he goes. He puts up the shot. It was a brick, no go. Devin Douglas got the rebound. He puts it up and in. Devin Douglas with his first points of the half. He's got 10 now. And it's 39-38. Fidwell extends that one-two out higher and traps out of it now. Under two minutes to go in the quarter. Scruggs on the left wing, sends it to Curtis in the corner underneath Crossman. He loses the ball momentarily, regains it, puts it up, stolen away, hard away. Out of bounds, it'll go off Anthony. Anthony and Crossland have had some contact out there before. Anthony got his shot, he blocked it, but lost it out of bounds. Inbounds Smith to Howe, hands it to Scruggs on the left wing. He'll back it up. A minute 40 to go. They may play for a last shot. Scruggs top of the key, right wing to Smith. They're going to spread the offense out a little bit. High post cross, then he'll take the shot right of the lane. Won't go. Rebound Devin Douglas. Off to Michael Pierce. Across the 10-second line he goes. Leaves it for Hardaway, top of the key. Fakes the shot, double team. To Pierce, into the lane he goes, puts up a shot from six, won't go. Marty White got the rebound, knocked away, out of bounds, off of Marty White. Pierce penetrated in there into the paint, had a good shot. That's the it. shot he wants. Hardaway is trying to get more of his teammates involved. He's only got two points this quarter. And we've only got a minute ten to go in it. Paul with a basketball and a one-point lead. In the corner, Curtis, underneath Crossland. Kicks it out, Scruggs, fakes the shot. Delivers it in the paint, Smith. Block shot by Burrell, loose to Curtis on the left wing. Up top, steal. Michael Pierce. Pierce will drive. He'll put it up and he'll put it in. And Michael Pierce has had a six point third quarter. And Treadwell takes a 40 to 39 lead. 45 seconds to go in this third quarter. Right wing, how? How? To Crossland at the free throw line. Sends it underneath. How? Reverse layup, missed. Knocked out. And Douglas got it to Pierce, left wing, Hardaway, stops from seven, off glass, won't go, rebound, Crossland inside, kicks it off to Howe, left wing to Curtis with 25 seconds to go, nifty dribble, into the lane, puts up the shot, got it. On the drive, Steve Curtis, first two points of the quarter, he's got 12, 41-40, Powell, Treadwell will play for the final shot. Right wing, Marty White, Hardaway with seven seconds, top of the key. Sends it to Pierce on the left wing. He drives in the paint, sends it underneath Devin Douglas, and he slams it home at the buzzer, and it counts. And it's 42-41 Treadwell after three. Back in 60 on REC. Treadwell gets the ball to start the fourth and final chapter here in Murfreesboro. They lead 42-41, high post pass. Anthony Hardaway, turnaround jumper, yes sir. That's the first time that Hardaway's went into the high post where he could do a lot of damage with his shooting and passing ability. And it's a three-point Treadwell lead. That is their, ties their second biggest lead of the night. Curtis with a jumper, turnaround at the baseline. From the left of the lane won't go, and Hardaway got the rebound, and Hardaway brings it up. And he sends it underneath for Douglas, knocked away by Bill Crossland, off of Douglas, out of bounds. Hardaway's passing not as crisp tonight as some nights. Substitution for Powell. In comes Paul Littlejohn, Preston Littlejohn. It's going to be a 1-3-1 one, one zone. They're going to move Anthony out to the point. That's out way out on the court. You can bet they're going to be trapping every chance they get here. Yeah, they will. Smith, right wing Scruggs, runs into Michael Pierce. They call the block on Pierce. Good call. 
And that will be foul number three on Pierce. He paid for it. Scruggs, a sky, stocky guy with a fire plug type of body. And Pierce, a thin guy. And he's going to pay the price on that. He'll leave the game. He's okay. He's walking on his own steam fine. But in comes Mark Crutcher. 44-41 Treadwell. Right wing Howe out on top Scruggs. Back to Howe in the corner. Drives baseline. Won't go. Rebound up for grabs. Loose. Howe waits for it. Looks for it. Lets it go out. And it was touched by Crutcher, I guess. Last. It'll belong to the Powell Panthers. Treadwell caught on the weak side without anybody to rebound. And they were fortunate that uh, Powell didn't score off of that. Steal on the inbounds by Hardaway, regained by Scruggs. Sends it underneath in the paint. Preston Littlejohn, he puts the layup from the left side up and in. Preston Littlejohn with four points in the game. Closes the Treadwell lead to one. 43-41, Hardaway brings it down, leaves it for Marty White across the 10-second line. White top of the key, dribbles to the right side. The crutcher in the corner, leaves it there for Hardaway. Up top, left of the paint, Burrell around to... Hardaway on the wing, the white in the middle. Back to Anthony Hardaway, right wing. Smith's got him. Burrell in the corner right side, up on top to Marty White. White in the corner to Devin Douglas, left side, back to White. On the right wing to Burrell. Back to White in the middle, left side, Crutcher on the wing. Back to Bur Marty White, top of the key to Burrell as he pops out. Now Devin Douglas high post to Marty White. Hardaway on the wing, right side. Dribbles two times, holds up, goes Ooh. back to Marty White, almost stolen away. Now back to Hardaway. Baseline jumper, 17 feet. Front of the rim won't go. Collision, no call. And Howell gets the rebound. Leaves it for Scruggs, and Powell can take the lead. With 6.07 to go, Treadwell still up 44-43. Scruggs across the timeline. In the corner to Howell on the right side. Brings it out quarter court. There's where Scruggs is. He dribbles it to the top. Left side to Smith. Smith has it stolen by Hardaway. Hardaway can't keep it. Under control, Scruggs has it, steals it, puts it underneath Curtis, left side, puts up a shot, no go. Douglas got the rebound. Up ahead for Hardaway, he's going to slam it. Boom. Hardaway with four in the quarter, 26 for the game. 46-43, Treadwell. And we've got a whistle and a timeout by the referees. And Ralph Woods wants to talk, the official from Huntington, Wants to talk to the Powell Panthers. Apparently, there is some perspiration on the court. Yes. Why did he call the, the Panthers over? I think he was explaining it to the captain, what he was going to be doing. Smith will come in front of us to inbound the basketball. Treadwell up by three with 5.34 to go in the game. Give credit to Powell. They're undermanned, and they really stayed with... Hardaway's Eagles on the right wing Smith back in the middle Scruggs by the 10 second line dribbles to the top of the key holds up there sends it right wing Smith double team on him down low to Howe Howe through traffic sends it back on top Scruggs fakes the shot dribbles to the free throw line sends it right wing Smith takes a shot Devin Douglas blocked it loose ball is out of bounds last touch by a diving Howe Powell's been in a 1-2-2 two, two zone all night, Dave. If you'll watch with me, the, the middle's wide open. If Hardaway would step up into the high post like he did a minute ago and hit that two, it'd be wide open. Right, look in that area right there where Crutcher's going. And they got Crutcher down low post, back on top to Burrell. To Pierce, top of the key, dribbles to the right wing. He'll stop, pop, 17-footer, in and out, heartbreak. Douglas got the rebound. Devin missed an easy layup, and Curtis got the rebound. That's snake bit for you there. It should be Treadwell by five. Instead, it's by three. Howe across the 10-second line. Looks for help. Has Scruggs on the right wing. Scruggs top of the key. Hardaway all over him in the middle. Left wing to Curtis. And they're going to play slow down. 4.35 to go. Scruggs almost loses the ball to Hardaway. Left wing to Curtis. Drives baseline. Stops. Gives it to Howe. Three-pointer on the way. No go. And Crutcher had the rebound. Stripped away from him. But Burrell got it. Ahead to Pierce. Pierce at the 10-second line. Pierce underneath for Hardaway. Stripped away from him. Curtis will bring it up. Here's a three-on-one fast break. Curtis behind the back dribble. Drives left side. Blocked by Burrell. But he fouled him. Good effort by Burrell. He was all by himself facing the onslaught, onslaught of three pal Panthers coming at him. He got the block. He must have got him with his body. He was way up high on it. Burrell's third, fourth team. Curtis goes to the line to shoot a pair. He's 0 for 1 from the line tonight. 12 points on the evening. We're in the fourth quarter. 
First one from Curtis, won't go. He's 0 for 2. He'll get one more. Treadwell still leads by three. It's a precious three. Has Treadwell ever led by more than three points no, tonight? Sir. It sure would look good if they could get that up to five. It sure would. Second one on the way, rolls and goes. 46-44, no pressure at all. Michael Pierce will bring it up. Looking at a 2-3 zone. Morell on the left side, and they're going to try to bring yeah, look at that middle. Treadwell out. You're right. Wide open. Morell into the paint, loses the ball on the way in, but a whistle and a foul. It'll be on Powell. It'll be on how Powell, and he says, I didn't touch him. Treadwell spreads the, uh, the defense of Powell out, and they could just bring somebody from the low up to the middle. That's Howe's first foul, Jeff. It is the second team foul in the half, and a timeout called by Jeff Hunter of Powell. 46-44 Treadwell, 3.56 to go in the game, back in 60 in REC. Back in Murfreesboro, Jim Bur uh, Tim Burrell, the junior, has two, and uh, he's not a very good free throw shooter, just 38% on the year. Uh, the first one goes up and in. He'll get another. And that makes it 47-44. Second one on perfect. Big free throws. His first two points of the night, and it's 48-44. That's the biggest lead Treadwell has had. 3.52 to go, full court pressure, and it's beaten. Preston Littlejohn with a basketball. Brings it into the right corner. Holds it there. Hardaway steals the ball. Regained by John. Littlejohn and a whistle and a foul called on Hardaway. Can't believe it. His second. And it's the fifth team, so it's bonus time. And that means Littlejohn will go to the line to shoot two, or one and one. Looking across at the scoreboard, Powell, as you mentioned, is in the one and one. Treadwell, not yet there. Nope. Only two team fouls on Powell. Looking at the free throw shooting in their first tournament game. Powell shot 58%, uh, actually 59% for the game, and Treadwell shot 50%. Edge to Powell. What did Little John do in that game? Little John uh, was two for two. Here's his first one tonight. Just a sophomore, 6'3", good-looking kid. Missed it, and the rebound comes down to Hardaway. Loses it to Curtis in the lane. They kick it out of right wing to Smith. I'll tell you what. If it weren't for bad luck, wouldn't have no luck at all in this game for Treadwell, even though they're up by AF4, 48-44. Double team on Little John on the right wing. They kick it off to Howell, left of the paint. Dribbles top of the key, Hardaway all over him. Left side, Scruggs. 3.21 to go in the ball game. Scruggs kicks it up top of the key. Little John, right wing, Curtis. He can shoot three. He's double team. Crutcher and in the corner, dishes it off. They go low post, stolen away to Evan Douglas, and they say he reached over Little John to do it. He came in from the baseline side on that feed from the corner into Little John and made contact and, and fouled. Little John up there again, a chance to redeem himself for missing that free throw just a moment ago. He'll have another. Little John, another one and one. He's got four on the ninth. He missed it again. Curtis got the rebound, loses it in the paint. Crutcher came up with it. Crutcher across the 10-second line. Batted away from him and picked up by Scruggs. Scruggs had it batted away, but he regains it quarter court right side. Sends it baseline Smith. Smith loses the handle, has it in the corner, sends it down low. Little John knocked away by Crutcher off of Crutcher, out of bounds. 2.56 to go. Treadwell by four, but Powell gets the ball, and Smith will inbound it. Smith puts it in the corner. Howell up on top to the point guard Scruggs. He sends it 
High post to Little Johnny takes a shot, no go. Underneath, he gets the rebound, ball loose on the floor. Everybody going for it, it's still loose. Knocked out of bounds, off of Hardaway. It'll belong to Powell. They, I tell the, you, they can't catch a break, Treadwell can't. No, and the possession arrow, so our fans will know, is pointed in the direction of Powell. If we have a jump ball, it goes back to Powell, too. Hardaway has some words for Jim Merritt from Nashville, the ref. They've got him in the last three games. Powell almost loses the ball. Burrell played great D. Out to Scruggs. Hardaway on him. They save it for Howe in the corner. Sent up top to Curtis. Curtis with one dribble. Leaves it there for Scruggs. Scruggs dribbles to the right side. Holds up. And Hardaway ties him up. And they're going to call the foul? Yes, sir. Foul called on Hardaway. He, he got the ball but reached in with the body. That's number three on Anthony. 2.25 to go. Treadwell not in the one and one yet. And Powell's going to send up a good free throw shooter now. That was not a smart play by Anthony Hardaway. And he comes over to talk with Garmer Curry. He's got three, 48-44. Here's another one and one. Scruggs was two for three yesterday. Well, he's six or seven from the line, seven of eight now. He gets one more. 13 points for the senior. He averages 14. If he gets this, he's got his average. Cool customer walks away. There's some discussion with uh, Jim Merritt and Tim Burrell. Don't know what that's about. In the meantime, Scruggs goes back to work. Gets ready, pops. Got it. He's got 14, 48, 46. 2.22 to go. They get the ball on the left wing down low. Hardaway, he'll drive, puts it up. Finger roll, got it to go. He's got six in the quarter, 28 in the game. And they needed it, and they got it. 50, 46 Treadwell, Scruggs brings it up. Right wing to Smith underneath Howe, tries to go to Curtis, stolen away Hardaway. Hardaway looks for help, gets it to Burrell. Burrell back to Hardaway, bounce pass up ahead, Crutcher. Right out to Michael Pierce, three on one fast break. Pierce is gonna drive, puts it up, missed it! It hung on the rim and forever and he missed it. 1.45 to go, Curry can't believe it. Four point Treadwell lead. And Powell is still in this game. Right wing, three-pointer from Curtis. Won't go. Pierce got the rebound. Pierce waits to get fouled. Pierce dribbles up now on Little John. Sends it left wing, Crutcher. Almost stolen away. Crutcher leaves it for Pierce. 127 to go in the game. Michael Pierce goes to work left side and in reaching. It was Scruggs. That'll only be his first foul, only the team's third. That's going to hurt him. That's going to hurt him. They don't have enough team fouls. Yeah, Garner Curry might want to talk talk things over and call a timeout because this lead is is only four with 124 and his pals a season team. They can take advantage of you if you make a mistake. Treadwell cannot afford to make a mistake. Yeah, they're going to pick up everywhere now. Hardaway will inbound the basketball, gets it to Pierce in the backcourt. Scruggs tries to follow him and can't. Now tries again to follow him. One and one does as they cross the 10-second line. Garner Curry and the Treadwell bench cross their arms as if to say intentional, but it wasn't. I wonder who they'll foul when it gets to the one and one. Uh, we had uh, Perel just went two for two, although he's shooting 38%. Who would you foul if you're going to foul somebody from Treadwell? I'd call, you'd follow him or Marty White, 55% free throw shooter. Everybody else pretty decent. Uh. The inbound the basketball, Crutcher has it knocked away and off of him out of bounds. Crutcher would be another one that would probably get fouled. He just lost that ball right then. That was an unforced error. He just trickled off his hands. Inbound to Scruggs. Anthony Hardaway picks him up at the mid-stripe line. Tries left side, dribbles to, through two people. Walked! Put up a layup and missed. He walked, he got away with murder. Here's a fast break, an outlet pass. Hardaway down behind the back pass to Crutcher, and he put it in! 52-46, 55 seconds to go. Curtis, right wing, dribbles down low, nearly loses the ball. Forces up a shot, got it to go. 48 seconds to go. What a pass from Hardaway to Crutcher, and a timeout called by... Jeff Hunter of Powell, 45 ticks left to go, Treadwell by four, 52-48, back for the finale in 60 in REC.
Tim Burrell will inbound the basketball. He has Michael Pierce. Pierce is fouled from behind by Scruggs, and he picks up his third in a row rather quickly. All he's got is three, and that is finally the 15th foul. Pierce, a good free throw shooter. You want to know what he hit yesterday? Well, I can tell you 67%. What did he hit yesterday? One for four. That's str strange. Things can happen, can't they? <laughs> uh, somewhere between the two is where he's going to end up. He, he hits two here. He's never hit two bigger ones in his life. You're not kidding. He's a senior. 43 ticks on the clock. Here's the first one. Bump go. Rebound. Crutcher loses it to Howe. 40 ticks left. Scruggs will bring it up. Scruggs across the 10 second line. Scruggs sends it over to Curtis on the right side, drives baseline, puts up a shot. It won't go. Rebound Hardaway, knocked away from him. Out of bounds, they say it belongs to Powell. I don't know about that call. I don't either. Fifth, 29 seconds to go in the game. Smith inbounds it. Howe drives, puts it up. It won't go. Hardaway got the rebound. Hardaway across the 10 second line, leaves it for Crutcher to Pierce. Pierce will hold up and bring it out. Pierce fouled as he delivers it down low to Crutcher. And who's it on? Crossland got the foul. Garmer Curry upset. He wanted that pass to go. Instead, underneath, out, kick back. 23 ticks left. Pierce again will go to the line with a four-point lead. He just missed, so he's 0 for 1. He has six points on the game. He missed a layup a little while ago. It's on the way. Missed it again. Rebound, How? Stolen away, hard away underneath. He lays it up and in. That might do it with 18 seconds to go. Pressure beat. Long shot. How? Won't go left wing. Rebound Smith inside. Gets Crutcher in the air. Puts up the shot. Hardaway blocked it too. Six ticks left on the clock. And Smith will go to the line to shoot a pair. Marty White's going to come back in. I got the feeling he'll replace Crutcher. Looking across the way, Dave, I see uh, Don DeVoe. I wonder if he's uh, after somebody from Treadwell. Or from Powell, but he's sure scouting this game and looking at, looking on with interest. He's right in behind the Treadwell bench. Well, and I think he's a little disappointed. He actually came to see Danny Stokes tonight, that 5'9 junior from uh, Treadwell. First one on the way from Smith won't go. He might have been looking there. He's already got one, as we mentioned, in Wiseman. Yeah, hey, he's got two. He'll see Carlos Groves tomorrow in the finals. East Robertson High School's Mr. A basketball. Second one by Smith is good. 54-49, six ticks. Hardaway gets the inbound pass. Hardaway takes it down. He'll fire from three at the buzzer. Won't go, and that'll do it. It's Treadwell into the finals against Bolton. They played twice this year. They'll play a third time, but this time the double-A championship will be at stake. We'll come back in three minutes, and we'll recap this game for you. Once again, the final Treadwell, 54, Powell, 49.